wonderful, you know. Give thanks to them for Haile Selassie first. Almighty Jah, Haile Selassie, I, who rided upon the wings of the winds. He was crowned King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering Lord of the tribe of Judah. Ah, ah. Yeah, such a reality, such a time. Give thanks to those who tune into Rastafari shining on the moment right now. ABS Radio, keeping it alive. We're blessing all the ones here. We have promised you from the last program you were on here that we would go forward some elders. And we, you know, still I still have caused that to, to be created today. Everything just come in such one perfect timing, such an order. And i like to say, give thanks for the elders are here with us tonight. And you know, today and this month, as they say, and as we know, is African History Month to be the third or the, or the, or the, or the, or the second or the fifth year, 2005. And it is a pleasure for Anna Rastafari Shining to start it off, dealing with some Rastafari history coming out of Antigua. And we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the first Rastafari commune. We're going to go into some history, some African history, because we are African people, and we have some African Rastafari in who actually were uh, created the first Rastafari commune. And we say commune, commune, we mean Rastafari people living as a family, Rastafari individuals living together, sharing the same property. And we're going to go back and examine that. And with us tonight, we have a few elders who are actually a part of that and started that. And we're going to go straight to the panel tonight. With us, we have Elder Rafael Kija, Blessed Love. Welcome to Rastafari Shining. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Rastafari Rastafari. Blessed. Yes, also with us, we have Elder... Ras Ivatash, blessed love, Rastafari, Gizai, Selassie, Rastafari, blessed love, true, true, Rastafari, give thanks for being here with us. Also, you know, with him, he has his empress, Sister Tanya, she's in the front, the front ground, surely not in the background, and she will just give her energy, you know, and uniting with us tonight. We have got our main speaker tonight will be Ras Aikija and Ras Ibatash. Blessed love, Selassie. Yes, King Man, Ras Aikija. You know, I like to start it off by asking the eye. You know, how how did that farm? You know, wow, when did that farm? This first Rastafari commune. How how did that, how did it all happen? You know, in terms of. You, I know you being in the, you're talking about Rastafari, you know, it's like a, a bet, it's a new band thing in those days coming up in the 70s, I, I figure I would believe, and it's like a bet coming out, and you're coming out of, you know, normal families, and it's like you, to them you're heading down a different world road, and you took, you took different parts, so how, how did that come about, Rastafari? I am Selassie. Well, my brethren, I tell you, I am very true. You haven't documented any of these things, so I will just speak of my knowledge, my wise mind, and my understanding of that time. Blessed. Rastafari. Well, the Rastafari movement started in Antigua in a very long time, and when we start this movement, we were male youths. Innocent and loving youths. Master. And it wasn't many of us, it was a few of us that we could count them on one hand. But the whole conception and foundation were built on love. Sure. So, with that foundation and conception of love, a few of us, man like um, Yakebla Amos, mentioned name like the man is over warrior. I don't know about his word about now, but he's a warrior. And different brethren. We decided to band ourselves together in 
in this whole concept of love, which we feel flowing to us at the time. Because in the early days of Rastafari, one good contest from those days was love. The energy of love was on the peak, was on the height. That was, the, that, that was the main source and energy. It was love. Mm. So then, with our love, we thought that we would have made a very vital contribution to, the, to our nation. But to our nation, we seem like we were a threat to the nation. We didn't know that. We thought we called love making a contribution. So we were not accepted at all by the nation. You can explain a little why, 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 why it wasn't accepted. I, you, you bring in this love, but, you know. The reason why that we didn't accept it then, that I know of, for instance, the herb smoking, they were totally against it. And then it was black pulled for us, and then seeing us come now putting dreadlocks on our head. That's the far right. That was like, wow! You know? Yeah, it's different. It really was like a, a time bomb drop on these people. Madness. You know? So, in that way, we were not accepted at all, and we were cheated very harshly. You're talking about your family, the, the society, break it down. Your mother, your father, was the first two. You know? Yes. Those was the, the main source of fighting against us those days, our mother and our father. You know, and then it goes like this. Then your friends who you used to go to school with back away. You know, like you have a contagious disease then. You have a disease that people don't want to catch. So it was like you're on your own. Yeah. So the only love and unity that we find is from the next brethren who live in the life like us. And we live in the life like me. So we bound ourselves together. Then after we live in together, in our love and our harmony, beating our drums. Before you go there, before you go there, where, where did you all went? This, this first Rastafari commune, where you all went Well, it's together. a long time. Where, where is that? Where? But it's a long we time. Get it we get into the day, but it's a long time before they come home. I want people to know that okay. Okay. Rastafari okay. didn't start just okay. in jungle. Bless it, bless it. It was years before jungle. Many years before jungle. True. So the people must know this. Yeah, yeah, let's give it up. So, after we band ourselves together as just few years, you know, running from our parents because they're the one who want to kill you, calling the police on you. So we started chuck and hide and chuck and hide there as, you know, just a few little brethren. Sure. Then after, you know, more and more brethren came, we beat in our drums and it was like, wow, them Rastaman beating them drums and making all these lies and all these whole night we can't sleep. So they're coming on us, we got to run. That's when we make the first move. Run from the city. We call it run from Babylon, running from the land of the sinking sun. Heading to Mount Zion land. <laughs> that was our first move. And that was in um, the first move in the commune was in 1972. 1972? 1972. I wasn't even from Ban yet. I know that I was there. <laughs> I saw him then. <laughs> Rastafara. The first move in Rastafara was in 1972, moving away from Babylon. And that's where we went. In the same place where the commune was built, that was Cooks, what we call jungle. Cooks? Yeah. What we call jungle. Yakemla was the head of the movement at that time, so to speak. He was the man who orchestrated the whole thing. He was the dry force, the knowledge of the man. So we went in Cooks and a piece of land which was his, which was, was his father in the land, Willie Bendal, gave us that piece of land. But we didn't, we didn't um, stay there for no time before the police had reached, burn us down. Run us, beat us. So we had was to run again. 
and we keep on running. And all these times, I tell you, my brethren, we were like mangoes crossing the roads of the government. It's just like putting our head across the road and one cross. Because them days, you couldn't make a policeman see a last man walking along the street. All right. It was terrible, man. That's what happened. <laughs> Man, I don't lost the man who was a raster. And you get caught walking across the street by the police. Man, you could be dead and nobody know nothing about you, my brother. Many of us have died. And nobody know nothing about them. Rastafari. You know that for sure. You see him. And a lot of people don't think they don't know this. You see? So those days we have to duke and hide and across the road and then it came a time when, like, wow, it's like enough, got to be enough. Yeah, man. So we did, we did the wall. So we decided, man, we got to stop running, man. We are young, man, and we can't keep on running like this. So, in 1973, uh, the first Rastafari case in court for Gambia. 1973. 1973. That the first Rastafari case in court for Gambia. So we decided that we go on group of ourselves together and go to the court to witness the case. But when I when we approach the court man, ha hi. So that's the I know. It was like a war zone, man. It was like soldiers waiting for us. Wow. So at that time, uh, we had a little conflict break over there in the courthouse and a little riot against police and Rasta. And from that riot, I could remember, those days, you could even wear your jeans jacket. You could even identify yourself as you're, you're, you're even meditating black, walking on the street in the night. This was her eyes. That's the time. And that was the first time I could remember Bradwin being to prison and was juvenile just because they defend the fate of Rastafari. Because from that riot, it was police harassment and brutality. So that's the there's so some part there, you know, we're gonna go over to Brother Ivy Tash. You know, Brother IKJ was breaking it down. I just wanna IKJ, I mean uh, Ivy Tash to just get into how he came about, you know, with his coming cooks development, down the jungle as you call it. Ivy Tash you can shed some light on that. Uh -huh. What's the name of the I the I slash the Jack Rastafari. And then we start off by chanting the Psalms, you know. And we say, ah, um, blessed is the man who walk in that into the council of the ungodly, or stand in the ways of the sinners, nor seated in the seat of this comfort. For I not highlight in the law, in the law shall I not meditate the amen. For I shall be like a tree that planted by the rivers of water, that go with forth and a fruit in due season. And I life also shall not do that. For what sign of do it must prosper. Therefore the ungodly is not so, but they are like a chaff to the wind they have it away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, and sin is in the congregation of the righteous. For the most high eye, I slice thy like jaw, rest the fire, I know the ways of the righteous, but the ways of the wicked must, must perish. perish. Fire, burn it out. Heal and tiga, what that means, the world, ultimate internet. I lie, slash lie, ja, rastafari. Blessed love. Blessed. Yes, as a youth, you know, as a youth coming up, I know as a Sikh, a godly character, you know, a, a preferred principle. Because as young youth coming up, I know I have been to many churches, but the philosophy of the church, I always tell I and I to look, look beyond I and I self and look outside into space. But I know I always know what goes up must come down. And for these two years I and I get the teaching of the church and we say, we say from Abraham to Joseph, but 
the cap day. But I know as you come up now and see the true and living, and I know hear the prophecy of the great Marcus Messiah Garvey, and I know start pick up that that intellect from that time to this time. How we are? So last year, ja, last year. So you know, yeah, and if you see, um, Marcus Garvey say, look to these. Because the people will be crowned, you know. So black people, you see our nation had a God, but where is the black man's God? How do I? Yeah. Rastafari. Yeah, as a youth, you know, and then come on, I lived in the time of 1976, early out, you know, as a young youth, and then where is in the Virgin Island, and then come on 1976, and when I come forward, I was in, I attended the, the Central High School, you know, in St. Croix. As a young youth coming up, I in the state of Rastafari. It wasn't easy because it's like we're an exodus, you know, movement, movement of Jack people. Because this name is Philosophy, right? When some people hear this word lightning clap, turn the wall. You see him the tower. Philosophy, I. When you talk about Slassia, Slassia is a wicked man. When the internet gets to realize who we are wicked, I know I see a Babylon and a wicked one. Hi, hi. You know? So I don't know how I call him Pagan. You see? So as a youth, I came in high school, I man get pressure, I couldn't finish school because every day a group of I and I seek in Christ in his king character. Go this go. And I am the beaches, you know, and I have time, and I have this exchange, the scriptures, you know, the reality of the scriptures, the same King James Virgin that they use, you see them. I try to put fool the people. But I don't have to look into nature, because out of nature come everything. Why am I the seek of God outside of myself? So I will say, Tal, I will try to blast the fire, right? After a man get pressure in school, I have to leave. I come home, when I come home, I find the tribulation made even greater. To walk on the street, everyone run aside, just aside. Because what? John the Baptist has returned. You see? So, when we see the rest of man now, then we come to the old parents. But then I check the inner, the inner parts, you know, the meditation. You see, when black people come out of the struggle of slavery. Sure. You see, and I don't come to realize I don't serve no as kings. I'm trying to be the king because after I lie. So you know? that when you say you came home and... Um, well, when I came home, when I came home, you know, tribulation was still great, right? So after I come home, now when I see, that's the glory of me. Rasta can walk on the street, can't nobody let Rasta. So I might say, well, I'd have to be amongst brethren, you know, people of my kind. But maybe it will be from the night. And I had a younger brother, which is, you know, I had a younger brother, Hartman. And he's, he just come by where I was staying and telling me, there's this place jungle. So one day I man chatted to the jungle, you know. When I chatted to the jungle, the man as well. First, when you can step on the ground, you have to take off your shoes. You know what I mean? Shoes. Yeah. Because you come out of that one and something might pay your shoes. You never know. You know what I mean? So you have to take off that first thing. Next thing, you have to take off your coffee. Cook your hat. Your coffee, which you mean your hat. You see him? Because you need to give reverence now. You know, to Zion. So those are some of the principles that, that was... The yeah, that, that is some of the principles that were set forth, you know. At the time I managed 1976. Yeah. <coughs> so, so how was it? How well did you all live? Well, after we, 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 we had it, so after we had it, you know, I managed to see still how did you all live? I managed to see well, I managed to see well, I managed to house, you know, we were going out of bed. And rock stone are pure. You know? That's all like the Bible they were. You check on the car. The tribulation is still great, so man could have a time for a circle. You see, in the car, every positive move I met, 
parents complain. Police will come. People are so people see a pass in the street. Everybody ball and whoop, whoop. They will come. You know, so nobody like you. Just feel out your appearance. You know? How you are? Selassie. Yeah. That's that's the the fire. Fire. But I know you might say nobody like it, but there had to be some people that could understand and could see it. You can tell I kid you. Well, the girl did not tell you the truth, right? Yeah, that's in, the in, in those days, the people who like you uh, is the people like you. Alright. At those times. Alright. And that, that was the norm. You know? That was the norm. Even when you're walking on the street, even now, okay? And the little youths them, we say, what's the man I'm looking at? What's the man I'm hearing? You know? And the parents will jab them by something I see, some parents hold some youth and pull the youth and they want to pluck out the youth arm. Just because the youth are from the rest of the man and healing the rest of the man, you know? Sure. So, what I say was a true man, you know? Sure. So I was saying, you know, um, by 1973, after the little um, riot with the police and Rasta, in 1974, now, we reached to a point that one of us stopped running. 74 when we got now. You see, <laughs> that's the year when we decided we're going to stop running because we start having kids. Here, yeah. right. we have to start and have kids. Well, by 1974, I was already um, a few Rasta kids. <laughs> sure. You know, by 74, I, I, I have two, for sure. My first son, Natty, and my first daughter, Tasha. You see? So by 1974, I, I did have two kids. And at this time, I tell you, from 1972, 73, I used to run with my kids type on my back. My first son used to type on my back. I had this bush running and running from police. I used to have my youth tie on my back running from police. Running from police. Running from police when he was a boy. So out. when police come down in the jungle and they see all of your children and so they still <laughs> Well that is so that's all we we'll, we'll reach there. We we'll reach there. So 1974 we decided that we're gonna stop running. This is the year to stop running. <laughs> and we're gonna face it. You know? We're gonna face it. So we decide now to start it to build shanties again. After the burning down from nineteen seventy two. We didn't start to build again until 1974. So in two years, we don't... Just... And the tree with the crackers back. You know, you used to have some big crackers back there. You used to have a factory where you used to have sugar in there. Yeah. That right. was our bed, our blanket. When you have one of that, and a cutlass, and a piece of choices, you feel like you have the world. When you have a crackers bag, those days, you have the world. I tell you the truth. <laughs> when I don't say you don't have a crocus bag, man, you like fish out of water, man. You say you like coal? You like fish out of water, man. So when you have a crocus bag, then there's a man. You're rich. So we decided to also stop going and start building shanty. You know? And then I built my first shanty in 1974, that in Mudgo. We didn't go right back to Cooks at the same time, you know? Sure. We decided to start going and come forward to our parents' yard and start to build shanty in our parents' yard. Even though they were fighting down and so you build a block. You block it down. Uh -huh. And then we uh, decided that we are going to allow these people to come amongst us, man. So the farmer squad they call the death squad. Some people call them the, um, what do call it again? Some kind of squad death, but it's a death squad, okay? Special unit. Yeah. Hunting for Rasta. Wow, animals. So, at that time, a few brethren was in prison. Man like, you know, Saga, he got a call, or, you know, and all those man didn't get in the kind of little thing, you know? Sure. And, so, I was free still. So they decide now that, I build in and I farm in some kind of a coup d'etat. 
that's what I say because I don't know where to get in the information from, but the information being put to the station that I did a shanty and my shank, my yard full of man, and we're beating drums again, and we're singing and we're smoking again. Ring leader. So, they came from the 1974. And um, a few police, two hearts with, was the leader of that gang. I think that time, this, this inspector now, you know, karate man, uh, my name? Isaac. Isaac, he just came in the force. He was the karate man. Young, vibrant, strong, skillful karate man. So, the of them came to me in 1974. Oh. And I tell you, my brethren, they brutalized I almost a bit. I was beaten very badly, myself and other brethren. And I have brethren that is now respectable people in the society who will contest to what I'm saying. Man like Brother Paul, Peter Man Paul. He was with I that time. So what I'm saying now, I know he as a preacher and a respectable man in the society. No yeah. can't that I'm speaking the truth. True. True, true. We have been done, we didn't do anyone anything. We just smoking our herb, beating our drums, just singing our songs. And they came on us and they brutalized us badly. I for one, they say, the ring leader, I was beaten with a clahama. A what? A clahama. Wow. I was hold out like the whole Jesus on the cross. That's what I say. But you know you're the Nazarenes. And the beat I with a clay hammer in my chest. Wow. Did my chest get sore? Judgment, man. Take us to station. Try in a cell, leave right to bed. But I arise to the power of the most high. So last So after you see that I survived, no case did come out of it. So far, they said I'm going to sometimes to change out of six hundred dollars or something like that, they say. Tell us to pay six hundred dollars for this ganja that they find. So don't blame it on the God game plan. Yeah, they say it's because of the ganja and they say we were rebelling and all sorts of things. Anyway, we get that beaten and we decide well look. After this beating, this shows us that we really, really not win it again. So we decided to move now straight to Cooks. And there we started the second time building in Cooks. The last year. Virgin Russell Latat, you're listening to Rastafari Shining. With us we have Ras Aikija and we have Ras Ibutash and Sister Tani in the foreground. Rastafari Shining with you, we're talking about the first Rastafari commune. Rastafari living as a family, Rastafari individuals living together sharing the same property and we are showing out the history as it goes here in Antigua Barbuda. I'm a 
sign of the punishment. The music for the mind, body and soul. Revelation talking to the people, for the people. Fine, rest the power and shine. A.K.A. Bosha. You're listening to Rasta Fire Shining, Kyrie the Rasta with you. Do take note that the RFUR will be having a grand item dinner. This will be on the 27th of this month, February, Black History, African History Month. That means we're having an African History dinner. And the place is going to be at, at Liberta, Ras Shakai item shop. And the time you can pick up your dinner is 5 o'clock. Yeah. So do remember the 27th. We have tickets on sale on the $15 for complete meal and juice. And you can purchase it and get it from any of the members of the RFUR. That's it, the dinner, the 27th of this month, RFUR. Proceeds in aid of the Nardine the Tab Tabernacle, so you know, you do support this worthy event. Also, the RFUR will be having two historical programs here in Wadadu. We're talking about Black History Month program that's on the 17th and the 24th at Yasuso in Liberta. We will be having some national artists in terms of speakers, poetry, looking out for Thomas Akila to be on that session. That's the 17th and the 24th. We are also be showing some very interesting videos, sharing and uh, revealing some important African history. So one can come out and support, and you know that's actually free. So you know you can come and be edified and get inspired with such knowledge that would be displayed. Highly, I Selassie, I Ja Rastafari. Yeah, yeah. Give thanks to those tuning in. How you do last week? You rooted and grounded with the elders here, and we are talking about and ushering out the African history to the Rastafari here in Antigua. The first Rastafari commune, that's Rastafari living as a family together, you know, different ones and ones in unity, sharing, caring for one another in one property on one property. With us tonight we have Brother Aikija and we have Ivor Tash. Aile Ai. Ja. Rastafari. Well Ivor Tash, can you share? We'll go to Aikija in a while, but I would ask if you would like to share some of, in terms of the police brutality or some of the things that you went through. If you can share some of that thing, those things with us. Yes, you know. know. That's the fact. What I mean, you know. Yeah, so people know the knowledge of the past, you know. It's like the tree without you. I lie. It's like a lie. That's the fact. That's the fact. What do you say, love, you know? Uh, as I come to you, who you are left out. I, after I came home, you know, and visited my jungle with my brother, um, we sat here with my brother in there. The brother in there, at the time, we were working up a lot of cultivation, you know, and I'm um, greatly impressed in that. And uh, because as a year when he was coming out, I knew well, I always know Lord that food and the staff of life, you know. So, after we were working up the cultivation and so, and after, you know, just so the community with brethren and so, we find everything which I would be simple and, and neat and all collective with the people, but the people are always still a trifle, you know, keep down the vibes. Because, as we said before, it was a new, you know, old wine in a new glass. So people didn't really accept that's the far as they do today, you huh? know. We come a long way. And then we were working up the cultivation. And then after a while, now we find the cattle man and the goat man. Now, can you go away? 
The guy is always going to be without gunfire, without gun division, he will be eaten down by these people, you know, our own, own people. So, when they eat down our gun division now, you know, I will complain, they go for the police, you know. So, it was, it was easy. So, we can't even offend you, we just keep on trying, trying, trying. But, after a while now, and the law was settle him for a few, a few, a few months probably, you know, and we there. And everyone, the younger generation now start to hear, know about this Rastafari, Rastafari, through the Bob Marley, you know, Bob Marley, the brand new rulers, at that time, were on the scene, you know. So who to the youth now, people from all denominations, people from grammar school, you know, People from all over, people from high school, and TV girls are, you know, educated youths at the time here. You see, white youths up to today. But you find now, when times day, was rough, you know. Many, many tried up to the field, but many failed because of police brutality. Because I witnessed when the police then come, sometimes they don't find my help, you know. And you reap all your food out your bone and clam station and sell your tea for me. Imagine that. The police will ask you to reap your food too. Reap your food and tell the station and sell your tea for And you get half your dreadlocks chewed out, pepper in your yard. You know what I mean? And you have a bang you, a bang you, because people tell them I'll have gone. And then I'm going to do with my gun. You see? Sure. But you, the people are so ignorant to their own self, you know, which is not iron eye. They cheat them, they cheat iron eye with that. The brutal force and the environment is a change. Sure. But up to this day, they still keep the fear, you know. And the other, the iron eye becomes now parents and grandparents. And I know they're born in the same tradition. That's the fact. You're, you're, you're actually the, the, the one family that's actually remaining down there at Cooks that well from since I come to I never really when one's tried to thousand after thousand because Cooks were a place at the youth day at the time day. For a new you know a new message, you know, a new path. Uh -huh. Different from you know and I just come into slavery, into colonialism and now come a birth to find I and I own self as a people and as a nation, you know. So the youth I'm so glad to find the sub is black. That's the fine. You know? Give thanks for Black History Man, African History Man, this man, you know? And I'm not here for sheer and I'm a great tribulation because I'm not child up as early youth because I child up in this field uh, from the age of 17. Sure. You see? And when I come out that day, I mean, I was mean just 19 at that time. You see, so I and I, I and I got up to the field and enough you come to, they didn't know that until you made a raster. At one time, the police brutality changed everyone in a meditation back to the system. You see, so I and I as a female who keep the field and maintain the field, you see, see the reality. So a lot of ones weak out when they are, a lot of ones, a lot of ones. A lot of ones. The the well, we can't get you that. That's the not what the was man. Wow. Only the 50s or the 50s at the time would survive the brutality. You see? Truly, truly. Because I remember, I remember at one time we have to run for two weeks straight. Non stop. Yeah. You see? Yeah. 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 You see, when you see a guy run water, and you stand up on your toes and buy murder. You see, go to Ganja. No Ganja, the officer. Go to Ganja. Ah, we are out of them down here. Go to Ganja. So, you know, that's you just see the internet turn from today. And I go and say, I ask my herb from ancient of days. And I might be the most chibi in the shop. And I'd be the most suffering. And I might never turn crazy. And fill me with the dirty pan of the world. And I keep up the positive. 
you know, the family. And you send them the to family. Not, man, they them and you tell them now they're not going to nothing. You see? And you can hear them choose. Yeah. Because at the same system, you see, where we keep on teaching the minister system. And I teach you so well. People of color come together and serve each other. You know what I mean? I just look at you and I listen to the meditation and get you when I've done candy. Put it to slaughter, you know? And, <laughs> and you see the fact that this thing, you see, we have to be use our simplicity and find out how to affect this you. Because if I know the need now to go to school, and when you step from school, they are not on the street right now. Because they will see a shit system. They will move in harder. Divide them in the way. Which get rich or poor get poorer. We need to look into the two I carry on with this earth here. And take it from the last man. You know? And see the last of you into. And the last of you different. You see? Because I am not here to stay. I am not going to live. You know, I, 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 this cow beauty where we get man and when you get running over. So we decide then to return to jungle and build. Then I was brought down by a few police officers. Myself and your camera. A couple of elevators. And we were warned that they said. They say they're warning us not to continue this life of the world anymore. We, we must disassociate with this last of our business. We must get rid of this ignorance or else we won't pay the penalty. And I have make it clear that I already made my decision, you know? True, true. So, you mean what you want? You mean what I am, man. I, I, was, I was not af afraid or ashamed of who or what I am. True, true. So then we decided now, as we want to form a community, we have to go have laws and commandments. You know? That's the fact. We have to set some stuff so that we have to follow. So I was elected to do that. And we use the Bible as our guideline. All, all the laws and commandments that were laid down come straight from the Bible. They were biblical. You know? They were biblical. We use the Bible as a guideline. A guideline. So, that's it. so all the laws and commandments, they were biblical. But remember that I told you that we were one. <laughs> but, not to continue. Not to continue. So, they allow 1974 to go out and they see we still carrying on. By 1975, we were fought again, in jungle again. But from 1972, the they didn't come back to jungle until 1975. So we went in 74, but they come 1975. Pastor five. And they say, You were one. You are the one. And they disobey. So, they take us in. I was charged for ganja. They say anyway the ganja found growing in Antigua. I am in charge. <laughs> anyway the ganja found growing. Anyway it found growing. So if I go some ganja over there in Hodges B. Yeah. And they will find a ganja over there in Hodges I am in charge. That's the I am right. responsible. That's good. So, they should have found some ganja. To be honest, I never knew they existed. But I served my one thing for the product. Something that he didn't. They say I'm in charge. How? Oh. They say I am the king. They say the people say I am the king. They say I was I elect by the people for the people. Yeah, I was I elect by the people for the people. That's the fact. 
I never deny it. I was elected by the people, for the people, with the people. So, any work on the plant, I was responsible for it. So, that was the norm then. So, we went, I, I um, formed a delegation then, and we went to see the Prime Minister. He wasn't the Prime Minister then, at that time. He was the former Prime Minister, which was Scotland. Okay. At that time. He was the former he was the opposition then. At that time. <laughs> so we went to see him. Aye, aye. Former delegation and we went to see him to, you know, reason things to about our life, show him what's going on, you know? So sure. to get his views. Yeah? Okay then. So give us some real solid from, you know? Satisfaction reasoning that we could have lived with, he was in government, but we have to go with it. We could have understand you a bit. Yes, <laughs> we understand us, but in that he, he, he was asking for our vote in the next election oh. as a Rastafari community to oh. overthrow the present government that was killing us. You know, because money was dying on brother. Wow. Money was dying. Some John. They, they swim go back to Africa. That's what they said. Yeah, so when you are missing, they say, they are swim yeah. back to Africa. Some journey, the journey the map in the sea, and they say, we swim in going back to Africa. <laughs> you see. They say you're getting crazy and declaring the land force. So shock by current. Wow. But press so no current shock this man. But blues go all over. You know? That's right. Uh, so money was dying in those times. And we know that too. So you were asking for a vote then to overthrow the present government. Sure. As I was I left for the people, as the king, <laughs> I decided we will give him our vote. Sure. But we will give him our, our vote on a certain condition. And he asked us to stay to our condition, and we stay to our condition. And one of our conditions was nine acre, 900 acres of land. That was the biggest part of it. We don't mind if we keep on sending us to jail, but we need 900 acres of land to build a reservation. Sure. Because where it was down in Cooks, it was near close to the village. And we were always concentrating on going somewhere far. We wanted to be out of the city. The way out of the city. Miles. And that was a solemn promise from him that he could vote for him. And won the election, 76 election, that we would have got our land, we would have our reservation bill, we would have got a cement with water and current, you know? Sure. So that we would be entangled no more with the police. So, by September, 1975. Now, when we went to him, it was early in 1975. By September 1975, I was in prison writing a letter, sending script there, pushing script there, pushing script there to last man here and there. Remember, remember, 1976 um, election because I got the put away in prison. Probably the year that I was working with, with Papa Bird to get the Rastafari to vote. So, I was in prison now. When election called, I, I was outside and make sure that I have I in prison for election. So that I will be outside to inf influence the Rastafari community and the Rastafari people. What? So, let me show I was in prison. Long time, long bad time politics. Yeah, man, long, long time. But I did have some well so much working and bringing up my scripts and everything, taking them to here and there and everywhere. Sure. You know, I have my brother them still living in the mountain hiding. So they begin, I in prison, so John the dead. Uh, but the children of them was in the mountain, still living in the mountain. They do the work in the mountain. They have children in the mountain. We're only we now to this day. That's the fun. Children that in Haiti or anything, we could go and share them in the Sure. So they were in the mountain. So by 1976 election, 
I'm still improving and I see what's going come out in numbers there and I'm going to get the way they have the archive now. Yeah. Do you saw the play and the house up there for a movie? And so, you saw the vote in the last time I got. That's nice. Yeah, I think I saw Sister Shapitou, my mother, Rasta. Uh-huh. At that time, I went up to cast over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And we put the, the government that was giving us those halals out of power, so to speak. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so to speak, I was, because I'm still alive, I'm still suffering. So, that's, uh... <laughs> so yeah. after the election and I came out of prison, the got out of prison after the election, and we make an next visit to the Prime Minister, he told us to give us, give them a time and, you know, and everything. So, we go on, we go on living our life in jungle, keeping our principle together, and breaking the system and just keep flowing from four corners of the world. And, by after election 1976, just the landing coming from St. Croix, America, and we've got a guy just come up from St. Croix, America, Puerto Rico, all over the Caribbean. What's the man been flying in? Flying into jungle. Flying into Antigua and heading to jungle. Wow. They said that we just know that the opposition partner is saying they know that we were waiting to build our force. So now the government changed our force coming. When we were after the war, we didn't have my version about the war. We come with the knowledge of life, teaching people how to preserve life. That's, the that's what we come here from. That's, what, that's what we come here with. When I come here to Antigua, in the early days, I come here preaching, I tell liberty. They say I'm a madman, I'm a crazy man. I come here preaching, stop eating salt. When I come here, I meet last man in their sheep. They're not eating fish, they say they eat your sheep because sheep is a lamb. <laughs> I go home preaching no flesh eating. No flesh. That's, the That's my preaching, I go to the forward. My eye liberty and up to the days. I see it as one of the most, what I say, the, the most accepted contribution from Rastafari. Yeah, the diet. The picture right now in Aital Shop, I last time. Liberty. If you don't go to Aital Shop early, as a last man, you don't get my Aital. And that's the liberty in life that I was preaching. And I give thanks now that it has been accepted. Oh, yeah. So if you have to wind up, you know, the program is coming to an end. We have DJ came soon ready to do a thing. We will go for it. So, what's I the time? Yeah. Hello, bless you. Thank you. Thanks for your presence here tonight. If you can just give us some inspiration, can you go to wind up and close out the program for this session? You know, we're going to have to bring you forward again because it's African History True. Month and I know we can talk about a lot of other things and a lot of things to turn into the Rastafari history here. And even some more issues on the cooks, jungle development, and even coming forward from that into this present state here now. That's the far right. I have. So that's it. Ja. That's the far right. Yes, I will give thanks to the station, you know, for the guy that I use the station tonight to express I have thoughts and I have meditation. You know, I will give thanks to what I do, what I do people. I will have so that's the far right. That's the far right. One blessed love and Jiga. You know, I know you finish up by chanting a psalm. I will with my eyes and the hills, who is coming with my help, my help coming from the most high. I will eyes, last year, Ja, last the fire. With me, it's all in my The option not so far of food. And the option not so far of food to remove, he will keep it eye and I shall not slumber. I will, he will keep it eye as you like the opia. Shall not slumber, not sleep. The eye is a keeper. The eye is a shape on my right hand. By thy protection, the sun shall not smite thy night by day, nor the moon by night. Watch the way by night from all evil. 
like to preserve all my life. I like to preserve all my young men to run up from this scene and drive her. How we are, it's lost like Jah, lost the far out. Just black people, you know, wake up from your sleep and you slumber, you know. Start to eat black, eat black, you know, walk black. How we are, it's lost like Jah, lost the far out. Yes, brother Ikeja, give thanks to the Tash, uh, we're going over to brother Ikeja, blessed Lord. Bless her. So last year. I want the brethren and sister in power over the Calvin who are listening to me yesterday to know what we said tonight, it might sound away, but don't believe that the last of our living and liberty was not sweet. We have our own good times, you know, even you know, with the trials and tribulation. We made ourselves happy. That's true. You know, we were real happy. And I believe it's because of our happiness in spite of those tribulations. A cause no tribulation didn't come upon I, you know? But that those hurdles, we use them as stepping stone. In those days with a lot of hurdles, you know, a lot of stumbling block. And now what I want the young boy with the system you know, to know now. In any life that one is choose, you're going to be Hurdle is going to be stumbling blocks. You have to step on and hurdle, you have to jump over. I ask you please, do like I do. Use those hurdles and those stumbling blocks as your strength. Stepping stones. Use them as your strength and your stepping stone to your goal. Rastafari. Aye, aye. So last Rastafari. 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 Yes, give thanks to be listening to Rastafari Shining, Kaidi Rasta. And uh, with us tonight was, you know, King Ras Ayubatash and Ras Aikija, two of the founders, settlers, living together in one commune known as Jungle, which is known as Cooks, as we know it to be. Give thanks to those tuning to Rastafari Shining. Give thanks to those who are listening to the Rastafari history in terms of the commune, Jungle, Rastafari living together. And I look forward for seeing the elders here coming forward again to issue out the loving history of our and I Rastafari here in Antigua, Bermuda. Good thanks for your listening ears. Keep on being tuned and staying tuned. Remember to support the IFUR dinner. That's on the 27th. Ras Liberata. Ras Shakai Aital Shop. Time of the dinner. You can pick it up at 5 o'clock. Tickets only fifteen dollars. Purchase it. You can get it from the members of the IS, RFUR. Also, remember the Black History Program scheduled for the seventeenth and the twenty-fourth at Yasoso in Liberta, right at the corner there. Yasoso Liberta. We will be hearing some historical video. Historical video in terms of Black History, yeah. And also, we have some speakers for you on poetry. Come and be inspired and be edified and share the one love of black unity. We thanks, Rastafara is shining. Blessed.